Hello, this is DracoFlame67, and welcome to the start of another Skyrim race lock. Um, as a reminder, the rules of this challenge are I must play on expert difficulty, I must make it to the end of a major quest line, I must only take perks in skills that my race has starting bonuses in, and I can only spend a maximum of six souls on a maximum of three shouts, so that the racial power isn't completely overshadowed. This, uh, for this playthrough, I will be playing as a high elf, and the quest line that I will be taking on is the College of Winterhold. It will be clear why I'm picking the College of Winterhold after we see the High Elves starting bonuses and uh, the um, and the features that a High Elf has that uh, the other races don't. And before we get to when we're unbound and we can take a look at those, we just need to name our character. And the name I've decided to go with is. this. And we are now inside Helgen Keep, and before we lose the body, just going to take a look at how what a High Elf has uh, unique to them. Let's look at their skills. Um, Alright, so our skills we have starting bonuses in are Illusion. Conjuration, Destruction, Restoration, Alteration, and Enchanting. All of the mage skills, and none of the others. You are playing a pure mage. No crisscrossing into into other into other classes. Though uh, as far as conjuration is concerned, there are bound weapons, and because of how the Atronach stone works, if we're going to use Conjuration, it's going to be through the bound weapons, rather than Necromancy or summoning Atronach. Um, so, uh, we're probably going to be uh, not doing as much Conjuration as uh, the other schools, but still, uh, yeah, a High Elf only got magic and nothing else. Uh, high Elves also start with 50 more Magicka than other races, so we might be level 1, but we've got the stats of a level 6. Um, and in addition, if we go to magic, uh, every character, regardless of race, starts with flames and healing. Um, high Elves also start with fury. Uh, who would have known that the race that every other race in the game hates has a spell that pisses people off. Literally. Okay, so... Just, I'm gonna put on... Uh, I'm gonna put on some light armor for the moment. But I am planning to eventually get the, um, uh, not magic, to get the mage armor perk. Um, and once I do, uh, I'll be going, uh, purely with clothes. But until then, I am gonna wear, um, some light armor, just to help take some hits. Uh, as for my... I just want to take a moment here to uh, remind myself that I need to actually read spell tomes to learn spells and um, talk about the uh, the racial power. 
Uh, for high elves, that is highborn. Uh, you regenerate magicka more quickly for 60 seconds, used once per day, like most uh, racial powers. So, all our skills are, are in magic. We start with more magicka, our racial power, faster magicka regen. We're playing a mage. That's why I picked College of Winterhold for this race. Um, but Flames, Fury, and Healing. Um, and uh, we are out of Helgen into Skyrim proper. Uh, first order of business here, I think, is to go loot that, uh, that Thalmor corpse, get some get one piece of enchanted gear and a uh, and some Thalmor boots and gloves which we will we will enchant later uh, and they are uh, clothes which means when we get the uh, mage armor perk we can put those on instead of Soldier, Potion of Inner Healing, Hooded Thalmor Robes, Destruction Costs 12% Less, Mind Helmet of Minor Restoration, Boots and Gloves. And I think I am going to put on, uh, just this, uh, just this Novice Hood for a bit more Magicka. I'm not gonna put on robes yet, because we don't have mage armor uh, quite yet. Speaking of which, uh, speaking of mage stuff, uh, I need to, I want to take the mage stone. First standing stone.
clairvoyance is in Ember Shard, um, but I think, I don't know, maybe, I mean, there isn't going to be smithing here, it's not a, it's not that important, but I'll get the, I'll get the location if I want. discovered. If I feel like I need clairvoyance, I'll come get it. advantage of fury you can get enemies to fight each other um, I'm gonna need more tapanella um, I think later on when um, training becomes expensive uh, I may want the uh, elixir of infinite income as uh, somebody on reddit coined it uh, the potion that requires more Tapanella, Scaly Foliota, and Creep Luster. The one that you can farm infinitely to get a bunch of money. So just pick a few of these. A dragon! I saw a dragon! Did I see you talking to Sven? Pass it with a speech check. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all, and then you'll believe me. Hey. I don't really need vegetable soup. This pill either. Uh, let's go into. Yes. No, not Sleepland Giant. Riverwood Trader. I need to sell off these. Uh, Softest armor. Get some spells. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Uh, do you sell spells? I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. Okay, so first, let's sell off. Uh, keep the enchanted stuff. Uh, I'm going to keep one shield on me. Uh, the reason for that is even with mage armor, it doesn't take into account any armor rating from your shield. So you can have a shield equipped and still get uh, the mage armor bonus uh, from using a flesh spell. So I'm going to keep a shield on me, but um, yeah. Uh, longbow for now, but I will eventually be getting a permanent replacement for that. Um, okay, now, books, what spells do you have? Oh, Clairvoyance. Uh, I'm not going to buy it because it's in Ember Shard. Uh, Frostbite, Fury, I already have Fury. Less reward, I don't need to spend money on that because we learn it in the quest line. Um, 
Oak flesh and raised zombie I will get. Um, and I think I will get, um, fro- I think I sh- I mean, I do need- I will need frostbite eventually, I will buy it. Alright. And there goes most of my money. And we have Visit the College of Winterhold as a miscellaneous quest. Um, actually, let's, uh... Uh, something happened. Uh, yeah, we did have a bit of a... Yeah, we know, we know, golden cloth. Enough. Solid gold in the shape of a... You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Bend. Spells, Frostbite, Oak Flesh, Ray Zombie. Uh, put Oak Flesh, favorite that. Um, right now we have Flames. Uh, Sparks will be good against other mages because it does damage, magic damage. Frostbite, um, if I'm really worried about like uh, like warrior enemies with, with strong power attacks, I'll use that to slow them down and take out their and remove their stamina. Um, but right now I'm only gonna have flames favorited. Conjuration, I'm gonna have I'm gonna use Ray Zombie for a little bit just to help uh, level it very early. Though I don't plan on using it long term. It is good for leveling. Much better than uh, Conjure Familiar is. Uh, Restoration is healing. Good. Okay. Um So, we did get uh, the quest to uh, visit the College of Winterhold, but before we do that, I want to, I actually want to go to Bleak Falls, um, I, I tested a playthrough of this before, and I found that going through Bleak Falls Barrow using, um, using the, the basic spells you get from uh, the start of, like, the start of the game and, uh, buying from Lucan in, uh, in Riverwood. Um, it helps, uh, leveling quite a bit, and you end up in a pretty decent position to start using, uh, apprentice spells when you, um, buy them from, uh, from Farangar before, uh, taking the cart to Winterhold. Though I will not be, um, I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. I will not be, uh... Um... Yeah, I'm probably not gonna be taking on the dragon, though. Uh... I also have decided, you know what? I don't actually need any shouts when Highborn is so good. So... I'm gonna... I'm going to go up to the, uh, I'm going to get to, uh, the entrance to Bleak Falls Barrow, and I'm going to end the part there. Then we'll go through the dungeon using our magic in order to boost our skills by the way. So, say we use flames, take out this wolf. When we use Ray Zombie, bring it back. Just using Ray Zombie a few times is going to level our conjuration really fast.
saw our conjuration, it went up from 20 to 23 just by uh, using Ray Zombie twice. Uh, I did not actually need to grab the lantern or the bowl. to Bleak Falls Barrow after um, just going across, uh, just going through Riverwood, uh, buying a couple of novice spells and testing them out. Um, Ray Zombie is, a, is really good at leveling uh, Conjuration. We will use our spells a bit more inside uh, Bleak Falls Temple next time. Uh, for now, this has been Draco Flame 67 with the Skyrim Race Lock, the College Altmer. See you next time.